The Doncaster Cup is next two and a quarter miles group two. It's a pity that this is the same week as the Prudy Cadra because they're both sort of races that you'd expect both horses to try to go for, but it's impossible to get them in separate weeks, I'd think. So Dubious Devis at the top for Joshua Sutherland, Aldermore Hitchens, Padre Hogan, Baltic October for Graham Clutterbuck, Dick Tina's packed, David Robertson, homeless Craig Beckwith, imperceptibly for Leon Van Rensburg, Penny Fan Monty, David Robertson, Spinning McGarry, Jamie Hopkins, Yonkers, Stargazer, Vinny Gerard, and Sweat in Bullet. Graham Clutterbuck, they're all in store, ready to go. And away they go. One or two of them probably aren't pleased to see the likes of Bourne Trippy getting on the ferry to France. But it's Dubious Debbie who's gone off into the lead. And we'll lead by a couple to Baltic October in second. And then imperceptibly in third. Sweating Bullet is close up as well. But it looks like it's going to be Dubious Debbie who's going to be the one to blaze the trail, if you like, as they pass the winning post in with a complete circuit of the Ten more track to go. Uh, Dubious Debbie is well clear of Baltic October in second. And a big group of them disputing third who are all pretty much out of shot at this point. As Dubious Debbie is going to ensure that this is a proper stiff test of stamina. Two and a quarter miles. And Dubious Debbie in the lead. Halfway distance between the Ascot Gold Cup and the Goodwood Cup, of course. A big sort of three cup races over in Britain later on this week we've got the Prix de Cadran which is over in France almost like a French gold cup on Arc Day but it's Dubious Debbie in the lead leading by 5 or 6 lengths to Baltic October in 2nd then Imperceptibly is in 3rd Homeless is in 4th then Oldermore Hitchens and Sweating Bullet Dick Tina's packed the grey on the rail is next then Yonkers Stargazer in the green, the second of the greys, and again in David Rawson's colours is Penny Fan Monty, and the back marker is just spinning McGarry. But it's Dubious Debbie, who's going to lead them into the final ten furlongs, leading by about four lengths or so to Baltic October, who's in second and a similar distance ahead of Imperceptibly and Aldermore Hitchens between those two, Homeless is next. Then on the outside of them, Sweating Bullet, Penny Fan Monty. The grey on the wide outside, the grey on the inside is Dick Tina's packed. In between them in the two shades of green, Yonker Stargazer and then Spinning McGarry in the purple with the white seems a couple of lengths adrift of the rest of them. But Dubious Debbie races downhill and into the final mile with a clear lead. Not really been headed yet. Baltic October is in second, imperceptibly is third. And Aldermore Hitchens and Homeless are next. The order has not really changed much throughout the race so far and Tubius Debbie he's hoping it will stay pretty much like that throughout but the lead is now down to little more than two Baltic October is the one that's closing imperceptibly still four lengths back in third then the two greys are coming Dick Tina's packed and Penny Fran Monty homeless and all the more hitchings between them. Yonkers Stargaze has got himself trapped on the inside and has got no way out at the moment. Jockeys looks like he's got a double handful, but nowhere to go. Sweating bullets also now rolling around, doesn't know whether to go on the outside or the inside, and he's losing a bit of ground. Spinning McGarry is the only one who appears to be out of it, but Dubious Debbie is kicked on now again in the lead, and he's back in front by three as Baltic October starts to tread a bit of water. Dictinus Pax moves into third, imperceptibly is fourth. Then comes Aldermore Hitchens. Yonkers Stargaze has now got a clear run. Homeless is after that one. Penny Fan Monty is trying to run on, but Dubious Debbie could have slipped the field here into the final two furlongs shortly, and it's Dubious Debbie who's in front. Imperceptibly just goes into second. Baltic October. Here comes Yonkers Stargaze. Stargazer has now got a clear run. Aldermore Hitchens is also flying as well as Dubious Debbie hits the wall. And here comes Yonkers Stargazer. Yonkers Stargazer is beginning to get up. And Yonkers Stargazer, it's got to be from Aldermore Hitchens as they race inside the final furlong. It's Yonkers Stargazer who's pulling away, in fact, up towards the line. Yonkers Stargazer tags it. It's going to be close for second, imperceptibly, in Dick Tina's packed. Penny Fan Monty running on well as well. May have got up to be second. Dubious Debbie dropped out in the end. She didn't quite stay the extended trip. Maybe better at two miles that one. But it's a win 
from a Yonkers star gazer at one point. It looked like he'd got nowhere to go. There's a stewards inquiry. He's won by a good four lengths, so they shouldn't chuck him out. And um, they're not going to. Yonkers star gazer takes it for Vinnie Gerard. Penny Fan Monty was second for David Robertson. Dick Tina's packed for David Robertson again was third. Imperceptibly, Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. And Homeless was fifth for Craig Beckwith. I think it's pretty obvious that Yonker Stargazer probably did do a bit of barging there to get himself out, but he won by so far. It didn't really matter. <laughs>